guys, today I'm here for a PS3 game collection for July 1st, 2012. Last one I did was the beginning of the year, so let's get into the new games I got. Pretty sure I got five new games, but I'm pretty sure I got six, and I'm like a solid four. Looks like I got the last year. Can't remember, but let's get into it. First game just off the top of my list is Lego Pots of Caribbean, the video game. I did get this um, May 10th, I believe, the unboxing went up, so that's when I got it. It's a really fun game. It's a really good Lego game, actually. It was voted best of last year. I thought it was the best Lego game of last year, so yeah, it's number one. Next one, why are they all Lego games first? Oh my gosh. Can we not have them? Good, okay. Lego Harry Potter Years 5 to 7. This is also a really good Lego game. I think I ranked this number two in my best Lego game of 2011. It's Years 5 to 7, of course. You know, there's trophies out of content. And that's this, it's like the other one. It's all good. So that's game number two. Okay, okay. And then we have Love Planet 2. I got this a few weeks after its release date, back in January of 2011. And then you have the world's biggest... F no, wait, is that French? Okay, that's because it's French. You have a disc that they could have done a little bit more work on, but it's not the end of the world. So, yeah. It's game number three. And as we move on, we have two game number four, which is Ratchet and Clank Future A Crack in Time. Got this one last year. What time of the year was that? I think it was like close to the beginning of the year. I got this game. I, I beat it, but it's a really good game. Um, it's probably the best Ratchet and Clank game I've actually played so far. It's better than Off of One, of course. And you have the world's biggest freaking um, instruction manual. You have the disc that looks alright. And... Yeah, that would be game number four. And number five. Oh, wow. Let's, let's go in order. You have Uncharted Drake's Fortune. This is an actual really good game. So the, it's the first in Solid Uncharted series. So what they've done back in 07 when the game came out. Well, it says 2011, but they came back in 07. Oh, wait. Shoot, I can't remember. But, okay. It's a really, it's the game of the, okay, it is 2007, it just said game of the year 2007. You have uh, an instruction manual that is in black and white, and you have the desk with Drake holding a shotgun right behind his back. Okay. That would be game number five. Game number six, let's go in order. You have Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, it's the game of the year edition, because I got it with PS3, same as Uncharted Drake's Fortune. So this is actually a really fun game, it includes all the add-on content. It's a fun game, I'd save it, of course. You open it up, and the instruction manual is in black and white, and then you just have the disc with the chain, same game, no, that's not the chain, a dagger, same game, the year did. So, game number six, right? Dead Island. This is a game I got on the 26th of December last year with the money I got for Christmas. I have beaten the game, and I've also done a playthrough of the Rider White DLC, so go check that out. It's a really fun zombie survival game. The only problem is the bunch of texture poppings like every single time. You have an instruction manual in color, which is nice for once. And you have the disc, which I also like too, so. Game number seven. Go over here. We got Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. I got this back in May, I believe. Or April. One of those two days, and this was on the third uh, best game of the year. So, yep. You have the song continues, of course. You have an instruction manual that is in black and white. And you have a disc with Yoda right in the middle. Or at the bottom right. Game number... It's good, okay. And you've got Motorstorm Apocalypse, a really fun uh, racing, off-road racing game. I like off-road racing games a lot. Same with on-road racing games, they're all good. You have an instruction manual in black and white. What's the ad for Infamous 2 coming out June 7th, 2011, which is already out, so you get that. And then you have Motorstorm Apocalypse, with the sewer drain manhole that has a picture of the motor storm symbol on it, so yeah. 
That's game number nine. And then we're gonna go back up here. Show Burnout Paradise is like I said, I like off-road and road racing games. I like them all because it all the driving playground that's much of thing everywhere. It's like a really big city to drive around in. I like when you can do that. You have an instruction manual in black and white, of course. And then you have a disc, which I would have liked it if it had more things on it, but you know, what are you gonna do? Not a big deal. Game number ten. Good. Go here. Then you got Twisted Metal, the game that came out on Valentine's Day, so it's a perfect Valentine's Day game. It's really fun, um, blowing up other cars and all that stuff with machine guns, weapons, rocket launchers. Got my Twisted Metal Black code in here, and my Starhawk code. That I've already, that's my, I gave my friend, but I kind of want the thing back. Instruction manual in black and white, and then you have the disc, which is, it's alright. You have Sweet Tooth holding, a. Uh, Big, big type of knife. So that's cool. Put those back. Game number eleven. Okay. Number twelve over here. Then we got Metal Gear Solid Four, Guns of the Patriot, tech, Tactical Espionage Action, which is a really fun Metal Gear game. The cutscenes can get up to forty-five minutes long, like you've probably already seen. So I have played it, and all of a sudden, the, yeah, I've played it, it's really fun, I think the online's off, so you can get a chance to play it, but whatever. We got an instruction manual that's in black and white, but explains a lot of good stuff, which I like, I like when they explain some good stuff in there. And then the disc is basically the same as the instruction manual and the front of the case, so, yeah. Game number 12, okay, let's go back over here. To Ratchet and Clank Off for One. This game is a really good, well, it's a good Ratchet and Clank game, it's not one of the best. It's more one of their weaker games. If you were to see my review, I believe. Um, I did a playthrough, go check that out, unboxing, review, and all that good stuff. Clank, you open the thing, and the instruction manual in black and white, of course. And then you have the disc, which is kind of, it's, it's alright. It's an alright disc. So, game number 13, let's go over here. Here again to go to Lego Harry Potter is Wonder Four. This is the first installment of the Lego game is for Harry Potter, which I really liked. Harry Potter games like you have like the Flying Quidditch, like it all is. You have the manual, like three freaking manuals, and you then it says all years one to six because the other one wasn't out at the time. The instruction manual is in full color, which I like. Then you have. Like Harry Potter place that's coming soon, which are already out because it's past 2010 now. So, and then the, and there's the disc, which looks pretty nice actually. So yeah, I'm just getting number 14. And then let's go over to the side. And then you got Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, the PlayStation 3 signature franchise, which is true. And it's kind of funny that um, Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 have the exact same amount of space you need to save it because the first one. I mean, the second one had one gigabyte or a thousand megawatts. This one says gigabyte, so it's like okay. And you open it up. It has an instruction manual in black and white, of course. And you have the disc, which looks the same as everything else. So yeah. Game fifteen. Now let's move over here. You have. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. I got this a uh, week after my birthday because one of my friends gave me an EB Games gift card. I just had to pay the rest, so I did that. You have It's a really fun uh, racing game because you have to like take down cops and then drive off the thing. And it does have back art, which I really like too. The disc looks pretty nice because you have like, it's showing like blue for the cops and then red for the other guys. And you have Crusher Manual in black and white, but it shows a lot of good stuff in there, which I like. Game 16. Okay. We're on to the last legs here. Toy Story 3, which I got for my birthday. It's a pretty good game. I haven't played it in a while, though, but it was a fun Toy Story game. Unleash your imagination. Black. No, it's in full color. See? I'm just saying there's French and English in there, because Canada is French and English. That's their main language. You have a picture of that star ball that's been in all the Toy Story 3 games, so yeah. 
in 17. Let's go. Where are we going? Okay, right here. Yeah, Lego Batman 2 DC Superheroes. This is a really good game. I gave it an 8.75 on my review. Go check that out and go check out my club playthrough and everything. So, yeah, it's a, it's the best Lego game I'd say so far. You have these hero packs I got for pre-ordering and everything. And you got a full instruction manual in black and white. And you got the disc, which looks pretty nice with Batman and Superman on it. So, yeah, you got all that stuff. Put this stuff back and in there. That was game 18. Last one, certainly not least, is Just Cause 2. The game I actually got yesterday and did an unboxing of it. was the other stuff I got today. I also showing the poster right behind me, the Angry Birds landscape poster. So, you got this game. It's a really fun open world game. I have played it. I played it for about an hour. It's really fun without I played of it. Except when you die and you're, you're trying to travel somewhere far and then you have to start again. So. But yeah, the instruction manual in black and white, which most of them are, but it shows you a lot of the stuff, so it's good. And it comes with the mission notes telling you to grapple, sabotage, chaos, slingshot, PDA, and the black market, in case you need some more help on that. It's up to you, and you got the French one behind it too. And you got the disc, which basically looks like his, uh, his lower back body, if you wanted to see that, so it's basically. Game 48, 12, 16. 18, 19 games. I currently have 19 games in my PS3 game collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any of these games, leave it in the comments below. If you like the video, click the like button. If you like my content, click subscribe. Hope you enjoy my PS3 game collection for 19 games, and I'll see you next time.